Well, hello there, and welcome back to the game where microscopic organisms battle to the death to reign supreme. Today, we're back out in CIFO, and I have been playing this game just in my pastime a lot. It's truly just a fantastic, fast-paced game uh, that I've been enjoying. I've unlocked some new breeds we can check out. Uh, my favorite is probably the Sanus Beforeus, and that is purely because of its name. It is a fantastic name. It's also the fastest of uh, the creatures that I've currently unlocked, and essentially is a melee unit that has large pincers. Now, you can obviously mod this with our own Zoids, so I gotta figure out what kind of Zoid I want. The downside of this species is it can only go forward. It cannot strafe at all. It, it, very, it does go in reverse, but extremely slowly, so if I do get stuck into a corner, it could be game over for me. So I have to think about that. I might want some uh, butt defense, as I like to call it, or just some way to propel my, my, myself sideways. If you don't know how this game works, it comes with four units that you can build with, and then you can choose your fifth with the ones that you've unlocked. I kind of like the idea of the puffer. Essentially, this thing is a defensive unit, but it also can quickly inflate and fire out damaging needles. If I put that on my butt, I don't think many people will want to bite it. So I think we're going to try with that, see how we can do. I've only done one run with this breed, so we'll see if it goes well. And yeah, let's get back into it. And here we are as a little Beforeus. All right, so first things first, I just want to see how this thing works. Uh, I want to see if I take damage with it. So no, it, ooh, wow, that really expands out. Okay, so that's just perfect for my butt. Interestingly enough, I can also keep that large thing there. <laughs> I could get some use out of that. I don't know, but we're not going to use that right now. I want to focus on speed for the start. I feel like this is going to be a deadly character if we can focus on speed. So for right now, this is all we can do. We have a nice little boost, as you can see. Like even just with one jet, I am remarkably fast. And I'm assuming this pincer is going to do some serious damage here. So this should be a pretty easy character to be successful at the start. It's when I get bigger and start getting stuck. That's when I'm worried because as I said, I cannot... Oh, I can strafe. What? It said I couldn't strafe. Okay, this is going to be easier than I thought. I thought I couldn't strafe with this build. All right, let's just eat my brother. Thanks, brother. Why do you look exactly like me? There can only be one of me. So there we go. My first kill was my twin brother. Great. And my weird cousin. Why am I eating all my species? I think you you uh, start with all of your same species. Okay, so he's using that pusher. I was curious to see how that works. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not, but it comes with this. It just pushes back enemies. But being that I have pincers, I don't know why I would ever want to push something. If anything, I, I would like to hold something in my pincers. I guess it'd be good to push it away from me if it's at an area where I don't want them to hit me. Okay, we can get one jet right now. I don't think I have enough for two yet because it goes up every time. So we're just going to spread my jets out this way. And okay, there we go. Now we are getting some speed. I think this is going to be a really fun build because I can kind of target what I want to attack. Obviously, going for the head is uh, going to be the best. And like, look at how easy the movements are with this thing. It's just, it's a very nimble character. I doubt it has much HP though. Okay, and I have unlocked the next worlds if I want to. Obviously, I'm going to try and collect as much as I possibly can in here. Because uh, the more we can collect, the stronger we're going to be. And it does look like there is a few enemies and a few loots around. There we go. Good thing we stayed. We actually maxed out our nutrition. So we should be able to get our third jet in here. I think I am going to want to mod this a bit to focus on more jets, but I can get one more pincer here. So what we'll do is curve these inwards a little bit for now. And that should be a good disastrous unit. Oh my God, I'm so fast. This is such a cool little creature. And yeah, I don't. Okay, we just actually still do have enemies around. So let's test this thing now. Two chomps to take out that whole freaking enemy. We are disastrous for the start. Hopefully we can keep this up and area is officially clear. So let's head down. Oh, great. Our first boss fight. All right. I have to use my speed to my advantage. Hopefully, this thing only attacks from one side. Okay. We just have giant pincers we have to avoid. So, you know what? I'm going to zoom around. <laughs> this is why I love speed. And now he can't do anything. He is truly screwed. I'm just going to chomp his butt until I get to that head. And I'm already almost there. There we go. First boss. No problem at all. We have unlocked Piston. Which, as the name would suggest, is legit a piston. You can expand the main piston's connection and show how strong you are. Dude, you can do, like, piston builds. I don't even know how I would utilize that for my current build, but that's pretty interesting. Uh, and then we have a mover. So it's essentially just a jet, just like mine, it sounds like. Uh, it's a cheap one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the piston. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but it might be good to have. 
Okay, well, first boss fight went very well. Diving on to World 3. All right, we'll worry about doing any mods later. Let's just see if we still can stay c competitive. Obviously, adding one more pincer in the front might be a great idea. Why is everyone in my species just absolutely awful? I am just destroying everything around me. Okay, and we've maxed out our growth. So I think what I'm going to do instead is just go with my generic structures here. I'm going to put two of those on there. And then we have another jet in the middle. Now I can expand this out and add more jets without just expanding my creature seriously wide. If I make this thing too wide, then I'm not going to be able to get into the tight cracks of these more complex levels. So I'm a bit slower now just because I'm heavier, but I still should be totally fine. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this guy's like pushing me back. He has a pusher on it. That, that was weird. And this is what I was worried about. I get stuck on a wall and I can't turn around. I almost actually uh, lost a bunch of my craft there. So we're going to pull away from that. Go get something easier so we can heal ourselves. Okay, so I have enough for my four jets now. Let's see how this structure moves. Oh, yeah, we're still super fast. The one thing I'm worried about is my head is kind of in the open here. I'd like to get a wall of... Uh, armor in front of my head because obviously if my head goes we are gone and if they can get into my claws i can definitely be bit in the head so i think we're gonna move our structures ahead and have a row of armor in front of everything once we get a few more nutrition all right area's been clear did totally fine again i am keeping well ahead of the competition Okay, very small enemies. Why are these guys so small at level four? Oh my god, he's being aggressive though. Oh, this is what I'm worried about. Look at my head. Look at my head. I got to kill him. <gasps> okay, pull back, pull back. Oh god, what the hell was that thing made out of? I almost lost my head there. And I did obviously lose one of my claws. Okay, great. I can't even build that claw because I don't have enough nutrition. I need to heal myself first. So I need to go find someone easy to kill right now. The good thing is, is I have speed to my advantage. This breed's actually pretty easy to deal with, so I wonder if I should go for him. All right, I, I, I'm just gonna go for him. Screw it. I might regret this. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm freaking stuck. Get off of me. Oh, God. Oh, we're actually stuck in on each other. So what I'm gonna have to do is delete this or just, yeah, I'm gonna delete that for now just to unstick ourselves. <gasps> and then I need to eat him. I need to eat him. I need to eat that freaking head so quickly. Okay, well, that was our first major struggle. Um, I'm a little bit damaged. All right, so we'll rebuild what we can. Uh, how much do I have? I have eight right now. I need my pincers, obviously. That would be the most smart. I don't have that one jet, so I'm going to be a little lopsided until I get that, but, I mean, we can move. I would like to get some upgrades. Ooh, this guy should be easy. Oh, come on. Get the head. Get the head. Get the head. Oh, I'm so nervous now. I was so, so confident until this world. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a rebuild. As I said, I want armor in the front, so I have my head connected, and we're just going to advance this. You know what? We actually don't need these spread out as much, just because the bigger we are, the slower we move. Uh, I need a little more chitin to get that. So actually, what I'm going to do is have my head open still, just to keep the craft balanced or the organism balanced until I can get one more chitin in the middle. But we should be having the head block in a second here once we find that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I was gonna thinking about going for that guy. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. He's doing a whole freaking minefield everywhere. Yeah, I don't think I should go for... Ugh, it's so tempting because he's so big. Let's see what this guy is over here first. Okay, that's not as bad. I'm not too scared about just a giant leaf, essentially. What is this? I don't even know what this breed does. So they shoot bombs, but that's all I really know because I kill them so quickly. All right, screw it. I have to go for it. I can get his head. I can get his head quick. And there we go. I saw my moment. I saw the opening for his head. And I knew I'd take a few hits there, but it was definitely worth it to get all that nutrition. All right, so I can actually put all three on the front. So I think we're going to do that. I'd like actually maybe even to spread these kind of out like that. Just in case I miss my attack, I can hit him from the side a bit. All right, this seems like a good portal. Let's see what the next world is. Oh, we're not we're not getting many boss fights. The Queen's Hive. That actually might be a boss fight. Usually it... Ooh. Yep, okay, I'm being pushed. And... What does the Queen look like? Okay, it's one of these. Where's her head? I didn't even see it. Damn it. There's, a, there's like, flow in this water. Like, this is me not pushing. I can't even get in there. All right, and let's just go for it. Screw it. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. Oh my god, I'm just chomping through. I went to the wrong side. I couldn't see where the head was, but we got through him quick enough to uh, not take too much damage there. Let's eat, just eat everything because things are still exploding. 
What the hell is a budling? A future child of your colony. You won't even notice how they all grow up and get into troubles. Bud off all budlings together with all zoids in their reach. Oh, I, so is this like just I spawn a little creature that helps me? That's crazy. Screw it. I think I'm going to try and have little budling babies because that sounds cool. If I could just grab this thing without moving. Oh my god. It's sometimes really hard to grab with this species. There we go. All right. Stay on it. There. Done. All right. So let's just see how a budling works before I invest into these. Oh yeah. It's just a little chomper boy. All right. Now's your time to shine. Yes. Fight him. Fight him. Keep him busy so his pincers don't hit me and then I'll go in for the fight. Dude, doing like a drone build would be so cool. There's so many ways to play this game. I love it. Oh, God, I don't like these fast boys. <laughs> they're, they're attacking me like crazy, and we keep getting stuck in each other because we're so fast. All right, I'm just going to gnaw on them a little bit. There we go. Yep. Good fight, buddy. Good fight. All right, so I have been working on streamlining my build. Like, look at this. We're uh, much closer together now, which... Oh, easy on the zoom. Might give me more room to expand outwards. Now, I've also... I didn't notice this, but puffers can actually be attached to. So, I wonder... If I put a jet on this, how the hell does that work? I don't have enough for the jet right now. Uh, but if I explode out with that, can I still use jet power? Because if that's the case, that's pretty damn cool. <laughs> okay, so let's see what happens when I have four on this craft. <laughs> I just can just... <laughs> I can almost break myself. Look, it's... All right, I don't know if this is going to help or not. I wish I could test it on, like, a small creature, because this is hilarious to me. Um, but, yeah, we, we can turn into an actual blowfish in this damn game. Okay, so, yeah, I have uh, slowed down a bit, but I can add jets to these guys as well once I get enough. Jets are getting very, very expensive, but check this out. Like, I have a full force field all around the middle uh, with blowfishes. Oh, I didn't mean to go down. Okay, well, I guess we're moving on to the next area. There was not much there anyways. All right, let's test out this thing. And I don't think it really is that great. Honestly, I just love the fact that you can do it. And maybe as a last line of defense, it might actually be good. I'm stuck. Why Why am I going forward? Push. Push. I mean, that's a good use for it, too. There's, like, weird flows in the water every now and then. And I think that's what happened there. Oh, my God. I just destroyed people with this build. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big boy. Big boy. Okay. Um, I mean, he's slow. Hold on. Hold on here. Hold on. I just want to look at what he's got. What what are those green things behind him? Oh, uh, I don't... I really want to fight this guy, but I don't know what he can do to me. I'm not as fast as I once was. I'm going in. I'm going in for the side hit. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's some sort of poison juice. Come on. Get through him. Get through him. I can't believe I went for this guy. That was... <laughs> that was ballsy, to say the least. <laughs> Chomped right through his side. All right, and now we've maxed out our growth. So that means I might actually be able to get two more jets on here. How many jets do I have now? One, two, three, four, seven jets. I am pretty fast for such a big creature. And oh my God, the movement is so much better now. I truly did need those jets. I wonder if I do that again over here. Oh, that's a good idea. And then we can just blow fish out like crazy. I mean, it kind of breaks me, but it is helpful for getting out of weird situations. All right, well, dive down. And, uh, what are we at now? The Abyssal Graves. That seems badass. See lots of enemies. Oh, God, what is this? What the hell? Eat it. Eat it. Yummy. Ah! Oh, it's just, it's freaking bees. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, I knew that was gonna happen. Give me a freaking red upgrade, please. Something. I just need a red upgrade. That's all I would love in life. Oh, these little freaking leech things are the worst. Okay, I think... I don't think I'm going to get my freaking red upgrade. I, I just need to go for the big honcho. Screw it. Go in. Go in. I'm boosting literally inside of him. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so satisfying. I boosted right through his little holes. All right. Well, what do we get for that boss? We got the agonizer. Imbues nearby Zoid attacks with agonizing acid, which increases their damage. So I could connect those to my pincers and do extra damage. That's definitely a, a benefit. Can lay poisonous mines. Yes. Mines would be great on my butt. What the frick is on me? I didn't even realize till now. I got a little jerk eating me. Literally. What the frick, man? Dude literally destroyed my Zoids. I need to like delete things to get him off of me. What are you doing? You little leeching bastard. How do I get rid of this? Okay, it's gone. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. 
All right, Twister also sounds interesting. Launches small swirls, whatever that means, that twist things around, accumulate sharp pieces, which can also deal damage. Creates a swirl that twists things around. Also, deep. Uh, Zoid lives on another level. No shallow insults or projectiles can push it over. That's vague. I think I'm going to go for Twister just because I want to unlock this thing. It sounds pretty good. I don't... I might regret that because I don't have the bombs, but... Honestly, if I did want to put bombs where I want them, I'd need to get rid of some of my jet power. And I feel like my jet power truly is my winning factor right now. I mean, I just jetted into that massive boss and saved myself from pretty much being attacked at all. All right, we did just get a bunch of nutrition, I guess, for choosing what I wanted to choose. So we'll go back to building what we had before, kind of. I think I'm going to put it more closer to the front, though. Ooh, it connects to two with that as well. So yeah, we'll add those there. That means I don't think I should really have these as those, but we'll keep it there for right now. And then we'll add movements to those once I get a few more nutrition. All right, and I actually did find a red upgrade, of course, after fighting that guy. So I'll grab that real quick so we have that benefit. And tectonic anomaly. Huh. Lots of food around, which is great for me because I should be able to get my jets down now. And we're pretty much back to where we were. Super fast, super agile now. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. I am a freaking master. Oh! Oh, God! What the frig? What happened? Did I... I freaking lost my damn jet I just built. Oh, this guy seems to be stuck. I need to go in for this. I need to go in for this. I got a smaller guy attacking me. That's okay. I'm gonna eat him, too. There we go. Get him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Oh, no! No! Don't tell me! Oh, God, please, please, for the love of God. What the frig just happened to me? Freaking little guy gets me. It's a good thing I'm fast. Get the hell out of there. What, what the hell do I do now, though? I don't have anything. How did I get hit so hard? I love if I'm fast enough, I can actually break these. I mean, I got the damaging upgrade. Oh, I do have those. I do have those. Screw you. Oh, he can grab me. He's got the freaking grabber things. Oh, 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 who left this here? Thank you so much. Okay, I... Look, please don't get stuck right now. Dude, trying to reverse this thing, it's so hard to explain why it's so hard to maneuver. Oh, screw it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did I kill it? I didn't kill it. Let go of me! Oh, God, please. I don't want to fight. Let's be, let, let's be friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot. I forgot. I keep forgetting about my, <laughs> my safety net. <laughs> All right. I, I'm way too fat for being in here, but okay. Thank you. Oh, right into him. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Literally, get out of me. I need to use that to push the creatures out of me. <laughs> this is going so well with that blowfish build. All right, I have looted so many upgrades. Oh, God, what? The? These things are pushing me so hard. All right, killed that one. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's a three-way. It's a freaking three-way. I don't even know if I'm winning or losing. I got that one, that's for sure. Pull back. Come in. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, get him. Get him. Teamwork. Just kidding. I'm eating you, too. <laughs> that was like five or four in seconds. Oh, God, if I can direct my attacks, this thing is so powerful. Oh, this guy looks like a good build. This guy looks like a good build. I might regret this. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Okay, push out, push out, push. I'm so stunned. Oh, I knew it. I knew going into that guy too, it looked like a damn good build. All right, I'm gonna go scavenge, see if I can find anything. Screw you, bro. You weren't even the one who actually ate me. Now I'm losing a pincer. I'm, I'm going for you. You're a fast little jerk. You know that? All right, you're not getting away from me, though. <laughs> All right, and I got my pincer back at least. But yes, I think staying around was a bad idea because I have not gained anything. Okay, this I think this is the furthest I've gotten for sure. So this build is fantastic. Uh, Thal. What is Thal? Level 10. This is definitely the furthest I've been. This makes me very uneasy. There's definitely a boss here, isn't there? Why are you giving me so much nutrition right now? Let's go grab it. Maybe not a boss. All right, screw you, buddy. Screw you. I don't know where your head is. I can never tell where their head is. Are. Is that it there? The final thing I ate? Looks like it. That is probably the head there. Yep. All right, so we're maxed out. Good problem to have. What do I do next? That's the thing. I guess just more jets. That seems to be the answer. Okay, so I actually found a way to put four in this tight area here. I don't think I have enough right now. But yeah, we can do something like that. And then we can have a fourth here. I don't have the jet yet, but that should be fine for right now. So, again, I'm just going fully into jet power. Like, insane. I am so fast for how big I am. Now we're at the lair of Fracker. I'm going to try and sneak around here. Get some upgrades first. Use my speed to my advantage. Come on. Okay, well, at least I got the jet that I wanted. I also got one upgrade. Screw it. I'm going to go in. 
get him. He's done already. Two bites and done. Thank you very much. That is what I'm talking about. But yeah, boss bro is clearly scared of me. So we're just going to stay to the outside. Never mind. He's not scared of me. Oh God, what do I do? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Going in through the middle. There we go. Right here. I saw my entrance and I'm going in. Where's his head? I see it. I got it. Yes. Okay. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <sighs> oh, things are mad. Things are mad. What was that? Oh God. Oh God. They're all coming for me. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Speed. God damn this wall. This friggin' wall. I got confused by it again. Okay. Well, oh God. I got one. I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yes. Give me sustenance. Okay. I have rebuilt myself with the carcasses of my dead enemies and back in for another attack. What is that grabber? Get me out of here. Freaking blowfish the hell out of here. Frig off. Hit him. Hit him with the blowfish. The blowfish has saved the day again. Oh, he's almost dead. Come on. Just let go of me. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I mean, I think he's getting more damage than I am. And okay. Save some energy. Get the head. Get the head of this one. That one was a good build. Oh, what happened? Is that the final boss? I did it. I beat the game. That was literally the first time I've ever done that. And I played this quite a bit. Love the final message. You've destroyed the ecosystem. Yes, I did it. I ruined everything. Ah, uh, what the hell now? What the hell is this? Oh, oh, okay. So these got to be like really good upgrades. I'm assuming power addicted claw. What the hell? Overgrowing puffer. I can get like benefits. I've never beat the game. So I can upgrade the jet for 50% max health. That would be good too. Is there any point to grab all this? I'm not sure. Oh, this is, I can't believe I beat the game. I can stack power-ups with uh, the claw. I think we got to like give MVP to the puffer. That saved me in a lot of situations that would actually kill me. So I'm going to get the overgrowing puffer when I can actually get this thing to pick it up. And there we go. Okay, what the hell do we do now that we beat the boss? Dive. Do we keep going? What the hell? That wasn't the end? The open waters? What happens in the open waters? All right, well, there's uh, dive spots here, so I'm just going to go deeper. Wait, what the hell? Ox level two. What am I now? I don't want to be this. Okay, so I'm assuming this is like tier two, so it gets harder as we go. This is the most dumb build. All right, guys. Well, I think that's a good time to wrap it up there. Uh, I beat the final boss. And now I'm this weird build. So let me know what you guys think. I truly do love this game. It's so fun to play. If you guys would like to see more, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. I'll see you in the next one.